The sheriff was not happy about it, and he talked about the effect it had on him. You know, it wasn't just the parents and the students and the staff who were upset and traumatized by what happened here today. Even the sheriff himself said when he got to the scene and he saw these crying parents hugging their kids, he had to hold his own tears back. Uh, he said he was very emotional about that. And he also talked about that fact that, you know, investigators are very serious about looking into and finding the person who made the phony 911 call that caused all of this. Now, Sheriff Chronister told us that he listened to that phone call. He does believe it's a young person that was trying to disguise their voice like they were trying to sound older, maybe. But whoever made that call could face serious consequences, including felony charges if they're caught. The sheriff also urged all parents to sit down with their kids and talk to them about the seriousness of making phony phone calls like this one. So again, you talk about a non, you talk about a child, and we do everything here in our community to allow children to make mistakes and not put them in a criminal justice system. But this isn't one of those cases. If we find this individual, again, they will be held responsible for this nightmare that they caused here today. Well, now the sheriff did praise the response here by everybody involved. He said first responders were here within four minutes of getting the call. And as we just heard from Josh, you know, these students every month go through active shooter drills. And the sheriff said they responded exactly how they were supposed to. And he was praising everybody up from the school to his first responders on how they reacted to this. Now, we also know that there was some confusion among some parents on social media as to what the difference may have been between a lockdown and a lock in. And what I'm told by the sheriff's office is that a lockdown is when there is a, a full lockdown of the school, nobody in or out, and everybody, including staff and students, are sheltering in place. Whereas a lock in is where the doors are locked, nobody's in or out, but the students are still being taught in class and the teachers are still teaching during that lock in. Not that that really mattered to the parents here today. I mean, if it's your kid involved, you're not trying to distinguish the difference between a lockdown and a lock in. All you care about is making sure your kid is okay. That is what these parents had to deal with here today. Yeah, but still, Phil, good clarification on the difference between the two. Thank you so much. We will have more on this on Nightside starting at 11.